Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Horseshoe Huddle here at Sports Illustrated. I am your host, Kim Becker, and joining me is senior analyst Jake Arthur here to talk about a couple of standout guys. Who are some guys that have really broken out and become stars here? Uh, yeah, so the, the Colts have some young guys that are just kind of waiting to break out, especially when training camp comes up, uh, whether it's just they're young in their development or they're finally healthy or something. These, these guys are just ready to go. And it really kind of shines a light on some really impressive, uh, deep, young position groups. Uh, first up, looking at wide receiver, uh, specifically Michael Pittman Jr. and Paris Campbell. Uh, Pittman was a rookie last year. He was solid already. So it's just kind of expected that he'll take the next step. Uh, he's got size, athleticism, and great hands. And the Colts really know how to utilize his talents uh, and how they drop routes for him. So uh, a lot of people think he'll probably overtake the uh, the Colts wide receiver one spot by the end of the year. So, you know, it's certainly possible. He, he's probably the first person you got to look at. Uh, also, again, Paris Campbell. It's all about health with him. Uh, in two years, we've only seen him in nine games. Uh, but they they love to try to feed him the ball when he's in there. So, you know, th there's no indication that's going to stop. He's still a, a fast athletic guy. So, Again, that's another guy we'll, we'll want to point out. And uh, I've been kind of seeing him in, in some fantasy circles going up mm -hmm. draft boards a little bit as well. So I think some people are already catching on and being proactive. Uh, other than receiver, we're looking at the defensive side of the ball. Defensive end is just chock full of young, talented guys. Uh, Quiddy Pay, the first round pick, you know, he, he looks like he's slated to be their starting right end right away. Uh, which his main duty will be rushing the passer. And he doesn't have a lot of gap assignments and, and a lot of mental processing to do. They just want him to go get into the backfield. So that could result in him getting some uh, pretty good stats. Um, he, he's one of the expected front runners for defensive rookie of the year. So obviously he'll have a microscope on him. Uh, Tyquan Lewis, I believe, yeah, fourth year for him. Uh, looked good as a rookie. Not great at all in the second year. And then he bounced back to have his best year in 2020. Uh, he looks like he might be the starting left end opposite Quiddy Pay. Uh, so this being the first summer that he's probably going to go into it as the starter. You'd like to see how things are going to shake out for him uh, this summer and training camp in the preseason. And then Kamoko Ture, another fourth year guy. Uh, he seems to be uh, everyone's top defensive breakout candidate for the Colts every offseason. And it's for good reason. Uh, he looked pretty decent as a rookie, had some injuries. Uh, in his second year in 2019, he was pro football focus's top graded edge rusher in the entire league before he suffered a devastating ankle injury in week five. Uh, he came back last year, but just didn't quite look the same. It sounds like he's a bit healthier now this time this year. Uh, he had a cleanup procedure earlier this offseason. And by all indications, he looks a lot better this time this year than he did last year. So everyone's kind of hoping for, for Kamoko Ture to return to his old self. If they do, they've, they've got those three young defensive ends and we didn't even talk about Dio Adangbo. So mm. that, that's an impressive group. Uh, looking at linebacker, Bobby Okariki looks like he's going to be the full-time starting Mike after Anthony Walker left for Cleveland. Uh, Walker is not as rangy and athletic as Okariki and he still averaged over 100 tackles per season over the last three years. Uh, so Okariki is a better pass defender. He can probably get after the quarterback a little better as well. Uh, so I would expect numbers that rival, if not overtake, what Walker did the last few years. And then last is uh, safety Julian Blackman. He came in and was kind of thrown into the fire as a starter in week two last year. Uh, even though he was coming off an ACL tear at the end of his collegiate career, he came in and he looked really good right off the bat. Um, it, it was better than expected for people. You know, they, they thought coming off that injury, he would take a while. Uh, but he looked really good early on, kind of tapered off a bit in the second half of the season. Uh, but this year, he's not preparing for pre-draft workouts. He's got a healthy knee. Uh, he's a really smart, instinctive player. So I'd love to see what his play is going to look like in year two. 
Well, there you have it, guys. A bunch of standout players on the Indianapolis Colts once OTAs and minicamp have gotten going here. But we're still right in the thick of offseason, right before preseason. So exciting things to watch. All of these names are definitely going to be on the list to keep your eye on. Thanks, Jake. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Kim.